Have you been searching for particle materials everywhere? Use Blur Particle System now. You can make thousands of particle effects by using the brand new function. Follow my instructions. This tutorial's topic is falling snowflakes. You can hit a like or save it for review later. Create a new project. Find the particle function in the bottom navigation and click it to create a particle layer. The particle system mainly consists of three sections, emitter, particle, and ENV. Firstly, enter the emitter and adjust the style. Different styles can simulate various particle effects. Here, we choose the cube to simulate falling snowflakes. Enter the attribute to adjust continuity. Adjust the values based on the intensity of the snowfall. Then enter transform and adjust the position, direction, and range of particle appearance. Here, the movement of particles is done. Then enter the particle section. Here are seven adjustment options to customize the particle material. You can take a screenshot here to know them better. Adjust the style. It goes with static and dynamic here. Click on the dot here. You can choose from materials provided by Blur or import your materials. After selecting a material, you can change the blend mode of the particle material and add effects here. Of course, you can add more particle materials to make the effect more realistic. Then, go back to Particle Size to adjust the start size, random, and lifetime size parameters. Here, we'll set it for the state of falling snowflakes. Adjust the color and random of the particle. Since snowflakes are white, you can leave it at the default settings. Next, adjust the values of opacity, random, and lifetime opacity. Since snowflakes may gradually melt during their falling, so we choose the second curve. The lifetime is the duration of a single particle from appearance to disappearance. For snowflakes, adjusting it to around six seconds is okay, but remember to add a bit of random probability for a more natural simulation. Finally, adjust the start speed of the particles. A larger value indicates faster speed. You can also adjust the linear or orbital speed. Here, we'll adjust the linear. Finally, adjust the rotation property slightly. To simulate the particle environment, adjust gravity and noise parameters. There you go. Now you've completed the falling snowflakes effect. You can customize your own overlay now. I have organized the key points with timestamps, making it more convenient for everyone to review repeatedly.